Hey everyone, welcome back. In my last video, I explained why AI taking over certain jobs isn't necessarily a bad thing. Today, I want to discuss another aspect of the AI revolution we are experiencing. Why are beginner IT jobs the most endangered by AI? And what should you do if you plan to start a career in tech right now? Stay with me until the end because I'll show you how to overcome the beginner phase despite not having worked in a professional setting. Now, here's the thing. I genuinely believe that AI is taking over roles that, if we're honest, were kind of artificially created. These jobs made sense at a certain point, sure. But they were always destined to be replaced by tech. Jobs that didn't require much creativity, intuition, or complex problem-solving skills. And the roles most affected by this are beginner-level positions. I'm talking about junior programmers, junior testers, or technical writers. You get the idea. These are jobs that involve a lot of repetitive, straightforward tasks. And guess what? Modern AI like ChatGPT or Cloud AI can already handle these tasks often better and faster than a beginner. AI can review documents, suggest improvements, and even write acceptable level code if the context is well-defined, and it can do this at a speed humans just can't compete with. Now, let me give you an example that might hit a bit close to home. Back in one of my old companies, our design documents had to go through thorough reviews by technical writers. People whose entire job was to make sure our documentation was flawless. Reviewing a 10-page document could take anywhere from two days to a couple of weeks, depending on the reviewer team's workload. But today, you can ask an AI to do a first pass in seconds. It honestly takes more time to upload the file and craft the right prompt than for the AI to deliver feedback. So what happens to those junior reviewers, programmers, or testers? Do they need to look for another job, maybe switch professions? I don't think so. They need to adapt and use AI as their not-so-secret weapon. Instead of fearing generative AI, they should learn how to leverage it. Become the person who knows how to get the best out of these tools. Someone still needs to write the prompts, assess AI suggestions, and ensure the results meet company standards. That person should be the experienced reviewer. He or she already has the expertise to deal with issues like false results or AI hallucinations. The key here isn't to resist the AI revolution, but to ride the wave. And now, here's where the solution might surprise you. The simple answer to beginner positions being replaced by AI is don't be a beginner. I know that sounds a bit unrealistic. Everyone has to start somewhere, right? But here's the catch. You don't have to be a beginner when you apply for your first IT job. Let me share a bit of my own journey. When I was in college, I didn't just focus on classes and the bare minimum. I spent a lot of my free time building software projects, starting small and gradually working my way up to more complex systems. By the time I applied for my first job, I had a portfolio with about a dozen finished projects. There was no GitHub back then, so I literally brought floppy disks and CDs to showcase my work. And that made all the difference. I didn't realize it at the time, but my soon-to-be managers later told me I was the only person they hired that year who had actual software development experience. It changed how they saw me, more trust, more responsibility, and yeah, probably better pay too, right from day one. The point in this for you, don't let yourself be labeled as a beginner. Build your skills, create a portfolio that shows what you're capable of. Even before the rise of generative AI, People who could actually prove their skills had a huge advantage over those who just had a degree. That's not new, it's just more critical now than ever. And before we wrap up, if you're interested in learning more about taking control of your career path and making the jump to something more fulfilling, 
check out my video on how I quit the 9 to 5 for good and started my entrepreneurial journey. I share my personal story and steps I took to make it happen. You might find it inspiring, especially if you're looking for a change. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe and drop a comment below about how you're planning to use AI in your work. Let's keep this conversation going and I'll catch you in the next video.